Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man. I have another video today. I'm going to do the Tilted Tiger Swirl. I'm going to use six different colors. I went ahead and got my soap emulsified, to split it up into six equal containers. I have Brambleberry. These are all Brambleberry colors. This is a Merlot Sparkle. This is the um, <laughs> Green Oxide. This pink is what's called, uh, oh my gosh, I've forgotten. I'm not good at this on camera. This is, oh shoot. This is also purple, this is orange, and this is blue. We're gonna just go with the colors. It doesn't matter what they're called. I'm working a little bit fast because I want a relatively thin trace. I have gone ahead and emulsified these and ready to put the colors in. And I'm going to, I've, I'm keeping this cool. I have actually let this, the oil and the lye water sit for two hours. And actually the last 15 minutes I put them in the refrigerator to make sure that they're a nice cool temperature. The oils and the lye water are both down to about 90 degrees. Because I want to keep this nice and thin. The last time I did this it actually turned out pretty well. I was surprised because it really got thick on me. So I want to keep this nice and thin. So what I'm going to do is take my whisk and go ahead and whisk my colors in, lightest to darkest. I'm actually going to pour in this order too. I'm going to keep that handy in case I need to stir it just in between. But I'm actually going to pour in this order. I'm going to do a very, very quick stick blend in each one of these just to get it a little bit thicker, make sure it's well emulsified. Get everything out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour, and I'll explain to that in just a minute. I am having to work pretty quickly. Even though these are cooled down to 90 degrees, the lye and the oils were down to 90 degrees. I'm trying to keep it very cool. And I'm not scenting it even, because I just don't want to risk a scent accelerating a trace. That's really, truly all I'm going to do. Just to make sure everything's well emulsified. Tiger Swirl is where you take your mold. This is my primary mold. I use this more than any. And you actually put a block under it. This is a block of a former church where I used to play. That's what the Orgelmeister means, by the way. The organ master. I am a church organist. And this is a former church where I used to play before it was purchased by the local university and we went to another building. This was the Otterbein. It eventually became Faith and we're now Community of Grace. This is the church that I belong to. And this is the one that we do the community project where my soaps are given out. I'm going to use this block to tilt my mold. And I'm just going to take one color, the next color, next color, next color, next color, next color, and let it slide down the side of the mold. That is the tilted tiger swirl. Make sure you can see this. And yes, you can. Let's get you a little bit closer. And yeah, my soap's nice and liquid the way I want it to be. I wonder if I should put you over here. How does that look? Okay. 
Does that help or am I in the way? I think I'm in the way there, so I'm going to put you back over here. Sorry about that. Time for my pink. Soaping cool has definitely done the trick because it's staying nice and fluid the way it needs to be. Now, unfortunately, I can't pause the video and stop while this happens, so, you know, we're just going to go on through it. That is one pass with all six colors. I'm going to stop just a minute, tap it down just a little bit. Actually, I think I'm going to wait until the very end to tap it down because I don't want to mess with the design. So I'm just going to keep doing this until I can't do it anymore. But oh, my soap is nice and fluid the way I want it to be. This will be a good recipe to use if I want to do like the column pour again, which I've done before. Or, I have yet to try the spin swirl. I want to try that at some point, but this is a good recipe and a good temperature to do that. So, you might be seeing that at some point in the future from me. And the pink, it just came to me. This pink is electric bubble gum. The purple is ultramarine violet. The orange is Tangerine Wow, and the blue is Bright Jeans Blue. Just had a brain freeze a few minutes ago, and it just now came to me. So we're just going to keep continuing doing this. this is staying nice and fluid on me even though it fell off the block I love how it's staying nice and fluid this is great and keeping it cool and doing minimal stick blending really is the trick to keeping this happening and being able to do this and anytime you want to do a soap recipe that needs a thin batter and I'll post the recipe in the description box below so you can write it down if you want. I'm starting to thicken a little bit. I'm still keeping it pretty nice and fluid. This will probably be my last pass through with the colors and then I'll just do the top. close to the point where I can, I'll have to stop layering. Okay, that's all I can do because the soap at this point is right at the edge. So set it down pound out some air bubbles. Get my wedge out of the way. Hmm. Okay. And I'm still really fluid. I'm going to have enough soap to use my backup mold. I'll show you in just a minute. I've used it before. And I'm just going to pour these colors on top because they're still so really very fluid.
I'm actually going to let this sit for just a minute before I try to do anything. I'm going to let it actually firm up just a little bit. I'm going to slide it to the side. This is my muffin mold. I'll just use this to make one for myself. This is actually what I'll use to test it myself. So this might not look really all that great because it's going into a muffin mold. But that'll keep this from going to waste. I'll probably have enough for two here, truthfully. So let's get this in here. get two muffin mold muffin type bars out of this one. These won't be the nicest looking bars of soap, so I'll use these myself. And that'll be a good way to test the soap, because I always test it before I give it away. make sure it's safe to use. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for just a minute. Get it out of the way, let it firm up just a little bit and spray it with alcohol. Let's get this one back into the picture. Because this is the main one. Okay. And I used my thermometer as the skewer. So I'm just going to kind of do this. This is kind of typical of what I do. This is still really thin. I hope I've not gotten this too thin. Folks, there you have it. Now what I'm going to do is let this firm up just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and spray it with alcohol now to help prevent soda ash. And I generally do two coats of alcohol when I do a soap batch. I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes and firm up and spray it again. Because I am soaping at a cool temperature. I am going to go ahead and wrap this up and let it go through gel space. I was tempted to put it in the refrigerator to prevent soda ash, but I have done a water reduction for one, which will help with that. And I don't have titanium dioxide, which will help with that. And I have cool temperatures, which should help with that. So I really don't think I'm going to have issues with soda ash. So I am going to let this firm up just a little bit, spray it again with alcohol, and then wrap it up and let it go through gel phase. I'll see you tomorrow for the cutting. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.